Joe Biden is president-elect. He said he wants to unify the country. I think the country needs unifying. After you have somebody like Donald Trump who has made sure to alienate people in an attempt to get a sort of a supremacist power, you do need somebody that can come and put it together. But also, it is important for those who supported that guy before we start with unity, for them to understand, for others to tell them from their point of view why it is that they take it with such hurt that those people, the 70, so far, the 70 million people thus far that have voted for Donald Trump, why that is so hurtful to the 75 plus million people that would have voted for uh Joe Biden. Joyen Reed, she did an immaculate job in making that point. Check this out. It's like a new day, Lawrence. It's like this city has woken up from a slumber. And, you know, I think that a lot of the other people who are on, you know, social media saying don't dunk on Trump supporters today, sorry, that's what people are going to do. We've had four years of mass death. Uh, you know, 240,000 of our fellow Americans have died, and Donald Trump was vowing to kill another several million of us through herd immunity. He didn't care about the dead. He ripped a thousand or more children from their parents without a second thought. Stephen Miller has been installed in the White House for four years practicing open, vile racism and xenophobia and making it policy. Four, you know, millions of Federal employees, hundreds of thousands of them, have been barred from talking about systemic racism. They've reversed policy on everything that was designed to make this country more fair for people like me. Uh, you know, my immigrant family members, none of them could have come here under the rules that they placed against people who are black and brown and coming from countries that are majority Muslim. They banned Muslim travelers, grandmas who wanted to see their grandkids, the cruelty the hideousness of this administration, the awfulness. They were threatening to take away my friends that are, that are gay, that are married, invalidate their marriages. They put in a Supreme Court that threatens to take away our health care, our, our, our desperately needed health care. All my kids would be, except one, would be off my health care if they, if they accomplished that. They're threatening our lives. They don't mind if we die. So I'm sorry if the Trump supporters are feeling a little sad this morning. But, yeah, we're going to dunk on y'all because you 70 million people said all of that is fine. Do more of that. Just give me a few pennies in tax cuts if you don't make a million dollars a year. You didn't even Really get anything. All you got was cruelty toward people like me. So I have to say, being out in these multiracial, multi-age crowds, I saw a very senior citizen lady with a sign that said sanity has been restored, white lady. I saw black people, brown people, Asian people. This city is alive. This country is awake. We, we finally feel like we can breathe, Lawrence. We finally feel like we can breathe. I can tell you from a personal perspective. Uh, one finally feels that they can breed. One finally feels that there's somebody. I mean, we're not looking for perfection. We're not looking for somebody that's just giving things out. We're just looking for somebody who believes that they are the president of everybody and that everybody's going to have a fighting chance. I'm not going to be 100% with Biden. I'm going in there to fight for progressive values, not centrist values, progressive values. But I know one thing, at least we can fight for it without worrying about what that grand master is going to do. Great job, Joanne Reed. Expressive, important, and one should listen to it with the context with which it was given. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know 
is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.